Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW guys, Z3 or Z4 guys a car and you have engine misfire, we're going to explain the top 20 reasons guys that you can get for engine misfire. Make sure you stay until the end. We're going to share some very important information guys. We'll start with the most common ones and we'll continue with uh, pretty much almost every possible explanation guys. Of course, it could be something else as well, but we'll cover guys the most common ones that we see here at the shop. Now, uh, before we guys start, if you need to buy any parts to use to fix your engine misfire or your BMW Z3, Z4, check out guys, we have a link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Something else guys, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So, let us show you what we have here guys, okay? This is actually N52 gasoline engine, but even if you have four cylinder, six cylinder guys, engine, the procedure will apply to all of this. And before we start, it will be a lot of talking guys, it will be a lot of explanations and so much helpful information. Let me just tell you one thing. Check this channel out guys, how to repair guys. This is our main channel and we have guys uh, more than, uh, we have helped more than 75 million people. We have information that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, why we are making this video? Because many of you guys requested in the comment section below because there is limited information about BMW Z3 and Z4, but practically it will apply guys to any BMW. Now, let's start, okay, explaining guys. Number one, okay, reason for your engine misfire is spark plugs. Okay, spark plugs that are bad, worn spark plugs. Okay, let me focus quick, having a little bit hard time. Or the spark plug gap is not correct, okay, or you have the wrong type of spark plug that can cause engine misfire. That's very common, guys, on higher, mile, uh, higher mileage engine. If people haven't uh, re gapped their spark plugs, haven't replaced them, that can happen, and we've seen that quite often. Number two, which is super, super common for engine misfire, guys, is actually ignition coil. And, for instance, on this engine, we have replaced two of them already, on cylinder number one and two. Uh, they tend to fail, guys, on higher mileage engines or older engines. We've noticed that on BMWs and any car, pretty much, ignition coils will fail. So, bad ignition coils will cause that. It will not give spark to the spark plug, and as a result, you will get misfire. But what else can cause guys misfire? Okay, it could be not just spark plugs and, and spark related, it could be fuel related. For instance, we have fuel injectors guys. Six cylinders will have six of them, four cylinders will have four fuel injectors. And as a result guys, okay, what will happen? Uh, if the fuel injector is plugged, not working correctly, if it's dirty, it may not spread and the uh, amount of fuel that the engine needs. And as a result guys, that can end up, okay, in getting uh, engine misfire. So dirty fuel injectors can cause that or fuel injectors that are malfunctioning. Now we'll have a video on the channel how to remove and replace fuel injectors, so please check it out. Another thing guys, it could be fuel pump. Okay, fuel pump that's not delivering, okay, enough fuel can cause that. So bad fuel pump, guys, weak fuel pump or fuel regulator. But you can check that super easy. You have a fuel, uh, fuel pressure port right here where you can connect the gauge and see how much uh, pressure you're getting on the fuel rail and you can find out if the fuel pump is working or not. Another thing, guys, you have one, uh, you have device and on six cylinder engines we have two upstream oxygen sensors and two downstream oxygen sensors. On four cylinder, most likely we have one upstream, one downstream. But that device, it's called oxygen sensor, guys. Okay, it's mounted on the exhaust manifold and the upstream oxygen sensors detect how much air and fuel you have in the exhaust. And they tell the computer if anything needs to be adjusted. But if these sensors are not working correctly, they may send the wrong information to the engine computer and tell the computer, hey dude, we need to put more air or less fuel and actually that's not the case that can end up in getting a misfire so that's common we've seen it happen as well another thing guys check ground wires especially if you live in a climate where you get some snow rain uh, humidity because ground wires for instance okay you can see right here you have on the ignition coils on cylinder uh, one two and three we have a ground wire for ignition coils on uh, four five and six you have another one and then we have a ground wire usually coming to the engine somewhere as well. So check your ground wires, make sure that everything is good. Because if you don't have a good ground, okay, you may have misfires as well. What else, guys, can cause that? 
Okay, vacuum leak. What is a vacuum leak? You have guys one device that's called mass airflow sensor, this device right here. It's on the air filter box and it detects how much air your car is getting. And this is right after the air filter. So everything past that point should be really sealed because this device detects how much air the engine is getting. And if you have a vacuum leak, which means air leak anywhere past that sensor from here to the uh, intake manifold, it means that the car will not know that it's getting that extra air. And that can be caused, guys, okay, uh, due to a loose hose clamp on, on the intake boots, cracked intake boot, we had that happen, leaking gasket on the throttle body, a cracked intake manifold or gasket on the intake manifold as well can cause that as well. So that's uh, that's common, uh, but you have also PCV hoses. Quite a bit, guys, uh, can be uh, covered in vacuum leaks, and we have a special video that explains vacuum leaks because that's very long, long detailed information. So check for vacuum leaks. Now, also another thing, it could be bad, dirty, or faulty mass airflow sensor and we have a video on the channel that explains how to clean them very often that will fix your problem or sometimes people will replace the mass airflow sensor with one that is aftermarket one and they will not perform as they should we had that happen quite often here at the shop we always go with the original one sometimes aftermarket do work but not always guys and we've noticed uh, bad gas mileage as well sometimes when you use aftermarket ones so what else can cause that as well guys okay it could be Check that it's nothing mechanical on your engine. Check the engine compression. Make sure that you have good compression on each cylinder. Sometimes bad compression will cause misfire because the engine will not have enough compression in that cylinder. That can be caused by a burn valve, piston rings, uh, it could be worn pistons, worn, worn cylinders, so it could be so many things that can cause uh, bad compression or in some cases even a head gasket that is bad. Now, that could be another thing, head gasket that's leaking coolant in your cylinders, guys. Let's say head gasket failed on one cylinder because the engine was overheated and let's say it failed on cylinder number two. It was, it was keep dripping coolant in your cylinder number two and as a result, okay, that cylinder will not uh, fire because the spark plug will be wet and that will cause misfire. So it could be even, even a head gasket, guys, in that case. Now, uh, another thing, guys, that we see quite often here at the shop, okay, is catalytic converters on older vehicle, okay, and catalytic converters, when they're plugged, not working correctly, actually will, what will cause, guys, back, uh, back pressure, because the exhaust gas will not be able to go out of the uh, exhaust system fast enough, and that will cause misfires. We have a video, how to inspect catalytic converter, coming very soon, so please subscribe, guys. Uh, another thing, check that the throttle body, it's not dirty. This is common thing as well we've seen. Dirty throttle body, sticking throttle body can cause that as well, uh, or not working correctly. And we have a video on the channel how to clean it. Uh, check your uh, connections for the camshaft position sensors. Make sure you don't have oil leaks here in the camshaft position sensor wires. And you have a crankshaft position sensor. Sometimes even a faulty sensor can cause that. And we have a video on the channel how to actually test them so check it out it's not very complicated and it takes practically only a few minutes to check your sensors uh, another thing guys that uh, we see sometimes failing valve cover gasket if you have a valve cover gasket that fails it can start putting engine oil in your spark plug wells and if you notice that you have engine oil on top of your spark plug that could be because of a bad valve cover gasket and that will result into misfire also sometimes when people wash their engines they'll get there's spark plug sweat and you need to clean that otherwise that can cause engine misfire as well and the last reason you hope that's not the case bad engine computer we had that happen in the past and we had to have hours repaired and it fixed misfire it was uh, uh, it burned one of the drivers for the ignition coils and as a result that cylinder wasn't getting any spark so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time